Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Around the Table GTA. I've just been in a mood to make a ton of episodes and <laughs> I've been messing up so much. I have a bunch of blooper reels now, so I'll probably post that eventually. I, I always say that, but we'll see. There'll be a day where everything's slow or maybe if things get really serious, I'll just drop blooper episodes to appease people. Or not, I don't know. But this episode, we're going to be talking about saving. I saw this clip, right? And the guy was talking about how he started dating someone. And he let her know that the place that she wanted to go was not in his budget. And if they were going to go there, it'd probably be next month. Because he had all of his money planned out. And he got ghosted. And I thought that was pretty interesting. He went on to talk about like planning your money and knowing where it goes and this and that. And I was just like, wow, maybe I should actually start looking into that. And I did. So for this month, I didn't spend as much money as I expected. And that's good. But at the same time, I started looking at my monthly cost for last couple of months. And I've noticed how much money that I've been spending on transportation and all of this extra money that I've been thinking that I was saving, a lot of it has been dumped into like more food and transportation. And it made me really think about like, what would I do differently if I plan my money out, right? That kind of motivated me to um, reevaluate my transportation options and find out a way to fill in that hole so that I'm not spending as much money because I've been kind of careless with it just because I've been finding ways to save more money and make more money. And that's a thing where when you make more money, you tend to spend more. That's how a lot of people, once like they lose their job or something like that, everything kind of gets out of control because they upgraded their lifestyle so quickly and everything. Um, if it wasn't for the events of 2020, this transportation thing wouldn't be an issue. But because I'm not trying to get sick, I'm avoiding public transit. But with the amount of money that I'm spending, it's better for me to just start driving, right? Which is an ongoing process, right? I could buy a car... And even where I live with the super high insurance, I'm going to be saving more money than my current option. And I was using my current option initially so that I could save more money, which I was. But now it's not working out. So, yeah. So I started looking at like all my expenses, uh, whether it's my phone, my internet bill, rent, uh, how much money is going into savings, stocks, um, RSP, food, transportation, and just when I feel like spoiling myself, what am I spending my money on, right? How much money am I spending? Um, am I spending money favorously, right? Um, being a person who doesn't really have to spend money on other people, you know, <laughs> you tend to spend a lot more money. And, you know, you could support people and whatever, but when all your money is yours and you don't have to think about anywhere else that it has to go other than like, you know, your regular bills, it's, it's a thing where you could kind of get carried away because you have a lot, extra, a lot of extra money compared to other people. It's like, oh yeah, you know, just, just spend a bag over there or, hey, you know what, I'll, I'll lend you some money. It's okay. Don't worry about it. You know, you're, you're living your best life because your pockets are fat and full, right? And that's the thing about making money. You need to realize, okay, yes, money makes money. Um, spending, when you actually spend money, you feel better, right? It's, it's just a thing where you feel better. Start making money and spending like a lot, you'll understand, right? <laughs> I'm not saying that I'm, I'm just like throwing money in the air there, but it's, it's something where there's a... Yeah, it's, it's, the, it's the exchange of getting something what you want, right? So that's why spending money feels better because it's like, oh, I want this. 
here here's some money okay i got it here's some money so you're instantly fulfilling that urge in your body to get whatever you want and you're, you're getting it instantly so that's obviously some type of serotonin release out there yeah so it really made me start thinking like if i if you had to spend all your money right away what would i spend it on and that's something that a lot of people don't realize like imagine if you only had x amount of time to use all of your money how would you use it and i think i'm going to explore this tactic for the next month to see how much money i could actually save or how much money can i transform that i already have into a little bit more money because no one's gotten rich off just holding their money right whether you put in the bank and there's some investment there or you lend someone something and they give you back your money or a little bit more like you charge them interest or you buy something at a certain price and because there's not a lot of it in stock or because it's something that's limited edition you could resell it and make more money off of your initial purchase right and this isn't only going to be about money i guess like there's a lot of different ways to save or even be saved right um saving in general is something that we could look into or we should look into right um sometimes you you want to save yourself from having a hard time so you should save some money maybe you could save yourself some embarrassment by you know staying home or not saying anything um i think that's going to seep into another episode that i'm going to talk about uh, a certain topic but we'll save that for that time not it's not going to be next episode but maybe the episode after that i guess it depends how i'm feeling but either way you know save yourself some time save yourself some money and take some time to actually look into where your money is going right really look into where your money is going um it'll help you a lot especially if you're someone who's started to get more money right um if you have a second job like look into what you're really putting these hours in for right um at work we were talking about owning a house and all of that and everyone's talking about the craziness and renovations and all of these hidden costs so even when you get the house there's still more to do right or whatever you're working towards right so let's say your goal is to save like ten thousand dollars this year or purchase something that you've never purchased before say say it's like you want to buy like a new camera or a new phone or a switch or i don't know whatever some designer clothes let's say the price tag is like a thousand dollars right if it's a phone you know there's the thousand dollars and then maybe the cost of a warranty and then maybe the cost of a nice phone case that's actually stable or some accessories right always think about what other things that you might need with whatever you're purchasing right like for me i'm looking into getting a car right so i need to get a car of course (laughs) i have to look into the cost of gas in general like how much gas i might be spending money on right uh the cost of insurance you know if i want to soup up my car Uh, something small like an air freshener or getting a good stereo system or even with how new my car is or how old my car will be what cost will there be for the type of lifestyle that i want in that car whether i want like ear bleeding speakers or i want like the turbo bass these are all additional costs to my initial goal so let's say i'm spending ten thousand dollars on getting this car but all of those other things are costs right what if something happens to my tire or 
what about getting all the extra stuff to start up your car like getting a battery starter or having like an emergency kit all of that all of that stuff costs more right so there's a lot of hidden cost in things so when you're saving you have to look into how much more can i save right or how much more can i gain so that i'll be comfortable if there's a hiccup right that's a big thing like when i started making decent money i made sure to put more money away and also for a good year like i think yeah when i first started my current job it was like four dollars more that i was making right so i just pretended that i wasn't making that four dollars and i lived life the same way and the amount of money that i saved within that first year made a lot of difference in my life and even pushed me to make even more money um obviously i got with the times because of how much money i was making and you know, I started to spend a little bit more, but I always try to spend less than how much I make. I always try to pretend that there's less money going in. I don't even like looking at my bank account, but you know, you have to make sure all that money is there, right? So there's a lot of different tactics for saving. Find something that works for you. Um, yeah, whether you have to hide money from yourself, right? You have to know how you are. Um, I knew, I know a couple of people who are just really bad with money. Once they have money, they'll spend it, right? For me, sometimes if I want guaranteed money stored away, I don't know if I'm just trying to control myself or I know that I spent too much, but know how to deal with yourself at times because, you know, you're your worst nightmare, right? So sometimes you have to save, <laughs> you have to save yourself from you. Uh, so hopefully you guys like this episode, you know, keep saving, uh, you know, say something nice. You could save a life. Um, keep your money up, right? If you're making money, good for you. If you're not making money, Hey, there's so many ways to make money now, especially in the social media age, (laughs) throw back the last episode. All right. Anyways, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.